Hi everyone, so today I'll be doing a side-by-side -side cushion review. You guys know that on my channel I already have a side-by-side -side with the Etude House AC Cleanup Cushion and if you guys want to see this compared to another Etude House cushion which is the Any Cushion, the Cream Filter Cushion, then you can check out the link below or the link at the end of this video. But basically I'll be comparing this acne fighting cushion with another acne fighting cushion from the face shop and as you can see here it's packaged in a really cool style. This is called the Doc. The Belima Blemish Balm Cushion. So you can see how they have similar claims. So I just wanted to do a very tight comparison between these two and see which is actually better for acne prone skin. So if you guys want to see how these two cushions last on my skin, then just keep on watching. Okay, so this is how my skin looks at the moment. I think that a lot of the scarring issues have been dealt with, and I just have a few, you know, a little stubborn pigmentation that's around this area as well as this area, which is quite standard. I have a few developing pimples but other than that I think a lot of the hormonal acne has calmed down so yeah my face is cleansed at the moment I'm just gonna apply the Etude House AC cleanup cushion on the right side of my face I've reviewed this before so I won't go into depth about what I like about it and that kind of a thing if you want to know like really really concise feelings about this cushion then check out the review below So as you can see, it does give off a little bit of shine, but this isn't the most dewy type of a foundation base. It actually just proves to be really skin-like, and also I love the shade match. I'm in the shade Natural Beige, and I think that Etude House for this AC Cleanup Cushion comes in three shades, which is pretty good. I mean, like, it gives you an option to go darker or lighter, but... Other than that, I've tried this for a prolonged period and I find that it doesn't aggravate any acne and I've even tried it during my hormonal breakouts and I think that it does well to calm the skin down but it doesn't do anything to reduce acne. Moving over to the face shop cushion. So that's how it looks on the left side, a lot lighter than my actual skin tone but as you can see the finish it gives is super super dewy and wet looking. I'm not sure why they formulated it to look so wet because I feel like a lot of acne prone people have greasy skin therefore is the core reason why we build up in sebum production but even for dry people there are a percentage of girls that you know do have acne problems so i think this will sit really well on people with acne prone and dry skin but it's super super dewy at the moment i feel like i'm drenched in grease so it's a little weird but this doesn't carry a very strong medicinal scent but i think that it looks really vibrant and radiant on the skin i think that the coverage it gives is pretty decent. I can't really tell because at the moment my under eye circles seem pretty neutralized but it doesn't counter correct that. I have a few acne spots here but you know it isn't as severe as my right side but the thing is that I find that it does neutralize the skin really well but this I feel like I can tell right off the bat that it will not last throughout the day so that's a little bit problematic. So yeah at this point I have not much else to add. I'm just going to do the rest of my face. both sides look. I think I've managed to even out in terms of the shade match. The left side I put a little bit more bronzer so that it matches up on the right but basically what I can say is that the very noticeable difference is that the Dr. Belima cushion from Face Shop looks a lot more dewy but 
surprisingly I think it sits on the skin really beautifully it looks really airbrushed and also just very very comfortable and skin like I think that both are incredibly skin like they don't look like you're wearing too much makeup and I think they induce a sense of radiance to the skin that makes acne prone girls look a lot more hydrated which is something that is a difficulty to manage at times because like you apply a lot of acne intensive products and you want like somewhat of a hydration during the time where you're applying makeup just so that you know your skin doesn't look too crackly doesn't look too patchy but I find that the Etude House AC Cleanup definitely has a little bit more medicinal kind of properties just because it does smell like it but also in my prolonged experience trying it, it doesn't aggravate the skin further. I'm not sure how this will hold up but I'll give you my prolonged thoughts in the description box below but nothing much else to add at this point. I'm not sure what you guys think but yeah it looks really really good. I think that since applying my makeup, I've been doing a few things in between. It's been 3 hours since I check back in with you and I think that I'm looking a little bit dewy but I don't mind I think it just counteracts the point that you know sometimes I do apply a lot and a lot of acne products so this just makes my skin feel really good and very hydrated I think that if you do not like the shine going on definitely apply some sort of setting powder after you apply your makeup just so that it takes down the shine at the necessary areas and it doesn't make you look too greasy. I'm sure by the end of the day I'll look super greasy so I like to use a tissue and blot off the excess oil. But other than that, not much else to add at this point. I think that if you guys want to know more about this cushion, feel free to ask me in the comment section below. So that's all I really have to say about these two cushions and if you guys enjoyed this video, do give it a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!